am waiting, Cloud. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plate. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought another reactor blew up. Which must have been zero, caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see. Oh, over there. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one so you're right. That soldier, armed with a buster sword, highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here! Get him on board! Prep for takeoff! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble! Quick! Get the camera off him! We are exfilling via Hilo now! Move it! We're taking off! What? Hey! Turn that off! <laughs> the survivors are being taken away! I can't get them all the way! me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey!
Stop. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's... It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And the little there was, was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with new time, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our 12! Let's go. Take 
one, I'll take the other. Was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. The best they had. Feel. I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents, though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off-duty till sundown. Richard Sangam, a humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. 
pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. City folk are so sophisticated. Can only imagine what their lives must be. Goodness! Is that you, Clown? So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, and all that. Uh-huh. Huh? You went to my place? I figured you might be there. You went into my room? I did. You went through my stuff? I know I shouldn't have. Cloud! You, you asshole! asshole. <laughs> did you actually play it? You could have just left it alone, you know. <sighs> what were you even thinking? Yeah, uh, don't quit your day job. Don't make so, what do you think of our village? Pretty nice, right? I'm eager to talk to him, too. But no one no needs to on. see me, or is that little cloud strive? Why, I almost didn't recognize you in that uniform of yours. Since the last time we saw you. Oh. Don't you make any me? trouble for someone. You worked out with everyone? Just for a bit. Could you keep up? Alright then. Oh, here off duty. Weak legs betray a weak mind. <laughs> Takes me back. Make sure you're prepared for a tough fight. Then I stop by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on.
My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time, then last. Hmm? I'll be right there. <sighs> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud! But you know, Cloud... Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Wait a second! You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> that most of them had to do with you. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. She went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't. Dad! Tifa. You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. 
Where's the harm in that? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah. I guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. I already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put that evil on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. So, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. Huh. Guess you really are the best there is. near the village and they're not nice what do you think I think I got this then they're all yours copy that This is how it's going to be. It doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. Come on, 
soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> you better. Cool. See you at the reactor. Yeah. 
felt pretty good. Detour through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guy. Good thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Lead on. Yes!
shelter may have been around for a while, but there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Mako poisoning. about crossing that thing then let me go first hey I'm the guide here in fate's hands now. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck.
off you go. Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm? To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him... He is anything but... <laughs> we should press on. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> 
what you want? Well, that's that. Doing so great. Rookies. 
get it together. I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. civilians, even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. Ugh. You better keep me safe. Expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last systems. Let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. No, in Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. 
What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. to your sword first? something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. Infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals.
was created the same way. Am I the same as these monsters? Sephiroth. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. That I was special. But not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako, and we ought to bring him some medicine. If you're looking for Sephiroth, I saw him headed to the mansion. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town, and older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick? He needs our help. Him? A little Mako voice. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Never knew it had a basement. It was news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer. A life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. MEGL 77 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, MEGL 913 1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. No 
was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? Need your help. Watch out. Is it true? 
through. Sephiroth did this. Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God. Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Yes, sir. Sephiroth? But he... Why would he... Get you up.
I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad! It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs> who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! 
whoever the hell you are! And that's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... Around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Because... He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet, with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Oh, no, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering... What's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're... asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago.
Cloud, you up? Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. <sighs> of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. You two fight? No. We have enough problems as it is.
puppy. Night. Tomorrow is another day. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood?
is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators... Good Mayor morning, Obama sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. Was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Oh, uh... If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. It's got a backbone.
Oh, God! I lost it. But, uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down, too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. Pretty boy, you want to throw down? But first, let me introduce you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. Now, she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Pretty Boy here. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious about upping your game. Listen, kid, you got what it takes to be a champ. I bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show Blondie your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister.
Morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. This is such a quiet, peaceful town. This Mako tank allows us to live in comfort. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up? Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Hey there! Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Hey there! Have a good one. What'll it be? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, back for more? See you around. was my barricade you just destroyed. Oh, come to admire the Bailey? It is something. Or maybe 
You're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one, refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. How could someone break through my perfect defense? Who are you? Deep down, I always knew. I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe. But even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you.
See? What I tell you. That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. Take care of that weapon now. Then, shall we? Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted.
There you are. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the end. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Down below, waiting for you. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. It's a transmuter converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. <laughs> yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you'd better get going.
made it. All in one piece? Sorry we're late. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh... Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. Got that? Now, let's move! Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Look at it all. It's so green. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. Guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was! The first step on our new journey! You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right?
hold on. Enough.
Uh, should we be worried about those things? We're fine. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours can't. You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you'd be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shinra's forgotten it's even there. My favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call me. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old buttes pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Swing by the ranch once you're done with uh, whatever you got going on.
No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe. We swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> well... Can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> <laughs>
Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever. Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though, chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out.
buddy. It's all the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <sighs> the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. <laughs> and he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made them. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> If y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye... Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. doesn't give you all too much trouble. Hi, how can I help you today? Thank you for stopping by. All right, Biko. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks.
bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all! Let's go bag us a chocobo! Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Just the cutest? <laughs> oh. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> hmm? What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that. So why don't you wait outside?
I really can't thank you enough for bringing Pico back to us. If you ever want to change your chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. Hey, Cloud! Hey there. What a pleasant surprise! You... do remember me. Don't you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though, your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow, as will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. find any. We'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which, in turn, reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long-forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do 
Do you happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the Combat Simulator, or my Combat Simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after poring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the tower and colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel? Which particular task would you like to learn about? While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions... Ah, yes, I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto-Relics. <laughs> a rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about world in Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about... Do you happen to have any questions? With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any- In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the grasslands, in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Cloud, have you spotted any rabbits? From what I've observed thus far, the ones in this region have a habit of hoarding trinkets in their burrows. So if you spot a burrow, you may want to dig it up with a chocobo. Who knows what sort of things you might find?
together. All right, you watch and learn. Suck. Oh. Oh. Uh. Ah. Yeah. Suck on this. Here it comes. Oh. Uh. Was never in doubt. Deal with that. About damn huh? Is that it? data is incredible. Thank you for your contribution. I can't help but... Wonder where we'll meet next. Perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me.
Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since Mom and Dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? with something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. What's up? Some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for days. 
shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason Mom and Dad died. That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. on high alert. Please limit your activities to essential business. Once you finish, do not approach them under any circumstances. Hey, Dad, have you heard of... Reactors are terrible for nearby. Everyone, please, one at a time. You were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up. How can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment, recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. 
Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. You will? Capital! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. We are working as hard as we can to get the power but grid back online. But, but I think you're the only one who's made a name for themselves in the Undercity. So you don't know who he was talking about? Not a clue. Everyone, please, go to the box, most Undercity mercs don't go bragging about being ex-soldier. Hey, how you doing? What? Hey, mister. You a winner? Some say. Awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Vash, and I could really use your help. Truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a lickin', but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. Mind if we go around? Okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil no problem. That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mine kicking his ass for me. And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try again.
for a match? We're here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So, Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for him. <laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Getting cold feet, huh? This one's for old Vet. Lost? It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. But, uh, not today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Fash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? Oh, crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So, this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously, I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done, am I right?
Hey there. You folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle cart. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that butte. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. So, you game? <laughs> then bust out those cards, boy. You've got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A-game. So, what can I do for you to... Honest, this isn't the first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here, it's probably better off with you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. Temporary lockdown. 
You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. Promise. The suspect is large, so public security is They're nothing. Oh. Don't overdo it. Oh, so go. infrastructure has fallen into disrepair after years of neglect. And you know damn well Shinra ain't about to spend a single year on the shit they don't use. Is it true the Republic used to run buses between towns? Yes, though that service ended when the war did. In other words, we gotta hoof it because Shinra's run by tight wads. Well, I don't mind. It's kind of fun exploring the great outdoors. You do you.
before so know which ones to pick yeah I got this as much as I want to believe you your face says otherwise <sighs> good thing you've got me here sort of reminds me of when we picked flowers for the leaf house So cute and soft too. Perfect for a flower crown. That's a start, but we're definitely going to need more. These are vibrant. So you like deep, passionate reds, do you? A few more couldn't hurt. Wow, these smell heavenly. Definitely the right choice if you want something fragrant. Probably be enough. Let's go get him to Chloe. Perhaps you would like to use it to develop materia? Your ongoing hunt for world intel. pretty as mom's well lucky for you i just so happen to be a florist i'd be more than happy to help you put one together really <laughs> we'll make two right cloud sure look it's just like mom's but this one's all yours yeah i didn't think i could do it but i did you two are the best I couldn't have made this without you. Yeah, you could. Believe in yourself. Thanks. There's something I can help you with? Oh, Billy. Here, for you. Oh, did you make this? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. 
so. <laughs> Cute, don't you think? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, 
Gloves up. Rare Toxarat variants identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The pungent odor that these fiends release when threatened is so effective at driving away predators that their population has exploded. This particular variant is extremely dangerous. Capable of spitting toxic fluid on its prey before attacking in mass. Such Too bad. One of the hunt creatures is large as alpha dots. Imagine how they hunt that creepy into every corner you find, and you'll understand why they're considered such a menace. And you must be. Let's switch it up. I'm coming. Analyzing biological data. That'll do. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Hey. I think we're almost done. That'll do. <laughs> I'd keep my distance if I were you. Just a bit. Okay. That'll do. Okay. Rest eliminated. Next time, see if you can clear all the objectives, too. vicinity. It may not be in plain sight, but I trust you'll be able to find it. Like you've forgotten best badasses. 
me. Yeah, you walked into our home and beat us to shit. We hadn't even done nothing. You yeah, big yeah. jerks. You're responsible for the destruction of our charitable organization. Oh, are we? News to me. <laughs> Midgar isn't big enough for us. We're taking our operations worldwide. We've gone legit. We're a business now. They're a special kind of stupid. If Shinra can take over the world with Mako, then all we gotta do is find our own treasures, and then we'll be on top. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna appreciate all the things. Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I would too. And it looks like crap. But it's definitely pulsing with a ridiculous <laughs> amount of power. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Hey, Cloud. Isn't that... Hold on. Now you're after our treasure? Well, sucks to be you. We found it. Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it. <laughs> Hand it over. Now. Ha! You really think that's enough to intimidate the life of? No, please, it's all yours. This don't hurt us again. Clayton! Clayton! What you know? Oh, so we're bad. freaking out! Now listen here, numbnuts. I got a foolproof plan. I call it... Use a decoy! Yeah! Oh, oh, decoy. Decoy. Oh, decoy means someone's so, gonna... So, who's the decoy? Oh. All of you! That's who! Ah. I've always <laughs> wanted to be a decoy! You would be decoys! <laughs> Wait... Gentlemen, it has been an honor! If you survive, meet back at the hideout! Damn it! Decoys are dead! We I can't afford to hold back! That's it! <laughs> Pay attention. Come on. Come Allow me. Beat us to it. Oh? I see. Fortunately, I've already ascertained the proto relic's destination. Would you mind heading there?
tip readings from the Proto Relic. I believe the bandits are close by. And busy preparing a meal, if I'm not mistaken. They may flee if openly confronted. I suggest using those shipping containers to cover your approach. <sighs> Looks like the coast is clear. <laughs> they didn't steal our meat. Huh. That's kind of weird. Do you think they weren't hungry? They're just bird oh, brains. That's like all. heaven. Anyway, gotta leave this baby on the fire a little longer to get it nice and crispy. I could eat a behemoth. When can we eat? Not yet. I like my meat rare. How about now? It's gonna be crispier. I'm a lightly seared guy myself. Is it ready yet? I'll tell you when it's ready. <laughs> if that's not well done, I don't know what is. Presenting the finest food you'll uh, ever eat. Prince uh, Dragon uh, Bird! Uh, You're the uh, best boss! <laughs> Turned out pretty good if I do say so myself. Okay, boys, time to jump in! gonna just hand it over. I don't have time for this. Get the word now, boss! Relax, boys. I've got just the plan. I call it bait in the hook. Yeah! Hook in the bait! So, uh, what's the bait? For all intensive purposes, it's you. <laughs> Me? Here, take this. Thanks! Can I eat it? <laughs> Tuck it for the getcha! Now, now eat me! Don't hold back. Come on, give it up. Let's go. Now, let's go. I got your number. Ah, 
was so worth it! <laughs> So, um, Cloud? The Proto Relic does not appear to be at your location. Whatever. You can track it, can't you? I most certainly can. Not only that, I've deduced where the bandits are headed next. And on that note, I'll let you get back to it. Diversionary tactics! <laughs> okay, you know what to do. Okay. <laughs> I bet you couldn't guess who's got it, even if you tried! Me? I... You see? The correct answer is... Ta-da! Me, me, me! Got a totally divergent! <laughs> so, uh, what do we do now, boss? Isn't it obvious? We make a run for it! Don't Wait a sec, boss. <laughs> what about the key? He ain't going nowhere! Just leave it! You got a piece of Guess I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> found the key. Great. And in other news, the bandits have stopped running. Let's hope that the fourth time will be the proverbial charm. 
Mako pumped in Midgard to the outlying towns and whatever else. You call it a pipeline, but I call it a one. One that drains the planet's lifeblood into generous pockets. Mark my words. I'm going to put a stop to that. Oh, I know. How about we break it in half and stick one end in the ground? That way we'll really be given back to the planet. There's an idea. Real genius one. And unique? Very nice. Yeah. 
can do it. Let me handle it. Take it from your all. for some cash so we could stop stealing and start fresh. <laughs> it's always been our dream to start a company and do all this work. Hey, we could throw him a bone. 2,000 gil. Yeah! A deal! A deal! You guys got yourself a deal! <laughs> See that, boys? That's how you broker an honest <laughs> deal! <laughs> what a deal! <laughs> deal broke. And hey, no more bandit stuff. You better believe it! From now on, we're earning our money the honest way! As a business! <laughs> Next <laughs> business, baby! Next we business! Next business! Next business! Honest business! Right, let's talk corporate structure. I'm president, and you're my employee. Oh, employees? Oh, I'm employees. I'm employees. Wait, what's a boy do anyway? We're buddies. That's cool. Oh, Me yeah. and the buddies are gonna make our business real big. All right, boys. We got work to do. There's huh? glittering riches out there, and your president's gonna lead you to it. Let's business! Yes, sir, Mr. Press! To the press! So, you think they've turned over a new leaf? Who knows?
face of fire with purpose. Oh, yet a stripling. One whose metal must be tested. For. That's what I hope to find out. I'll be in touch if I learn anything new. Sure, this is safe. Eric pockets of the bar are damn near bottomless. Plus, there's that giant man eating serpent. Bill assured us the chocobos could handle it. Have some faith in our feathered friends. Hey, Cloud, do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? These are known as guide stones, crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary set to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia, so I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries.
positively incredible, Cloud. I can't recall ever seeing a crystal of this caliber before. To think the secrets of the divine dwell within. I cannot wait to see what sort of intel our analysis will yield. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the deiform entity. I'm counting on you. Over there. It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. land I see let's go Right. 
Wakey, wakey. You remember who I am? Ares. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've gotta be. Yeah, I kinda get that feeling as well. Let's not lose him. He's here, isn't he? I don't know. Well, monsters sure are. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good point. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. <laughs> Enough for her standard course twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, uh, forget it. You guys need to focus. It wasn't all that long ago that this place was a working Mithril mine. Y'all know about Mithril, right? Hmm. Not anything specific, no. It's pretty tough. And beautiful, besides. Right on both counts. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And I ought to know. Worked in a mine myself back in the day. Hard not to learn about the life when you live in it. Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? Hmm, we could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. They even got that signature mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia, too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. I don't know. 
We shouldn't just leave him. Know what? I'll go check. Okay, I'll come too. Nah, you stay. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. <laughs> okay, if you're sure. Sorry to... I mean... Thank you. You keep track of the other robes now, you hear? Of course. Careful down there! Celebrate. Thank you. 
crush, so... You're dead. Gotcha. Break it! Get him! Nothing to it. This is huge. What's that? Hopefully, I take it out of here. Let's see. Do it. And 
my turn. I got your note. Time to celebrate. Tell me about Reno. He holding up okay? He's been through worse. He's been instructed to take some time to himself. To relax. Recuperate. Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds Wait. a lot like a nice, long, all-expenses-paid vacation. Well, more or less. Lucky. Hardly. He's bored out of his mind. Seriously? What are we even doing here? Sorry, but I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Orders are orders. The whys and wherefores are not our concern. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? <sighs> I say we put him down. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Assholes. Who's there? <gasps> Sharp ears. <gasps> Damn it. <gasps> no freaking way. Avalanche. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Where's Reno? On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. And a consummate professional. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Elena, pattern out. Gotcha. Which one was that? you want a hole in your head. Now then. Y'all got a lot to answer for. A lot of blood on your hands. You need someone to blame. Just you look in the mirror. For us, however, things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh yeah? Bullshit! Take care of Aerith for me.
Hey, where are the others? You okay? We're good. <laughs> Just taking a quick dip to get the crime off. <laughs> One. We'll meet you at the exit. Okay. <sighs> Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where they going? They're following Sephiroth, or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. How are we getting out of here? That might be an option. Those 
Taking a breather, or what? The bridge is out! Do you think you can give us a hand? Hmm. Let me see. Some way we can dislodge that container.
Appreciate it. <laughs> Two grand! And <laughs> don't you forget. Gathering its strength. Be ready. Too easy. I never just chance. Stars be your ruin. Yes. 
Fine staircase. Thank you kindly. took you stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away right the ground here could give way at any moment we shouldn't linger true but don't forget 
Shinra knows we're here now. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. I ain't stopping. Not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. We all know what's at stake here. The fate of the world. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Check it out. Just them? Guess so. To. Is that... Chunar. Shinra territory. Come on. 